Hi, I'm Nikki Davis. I'm 28 years old, and I am getting my eyebrows microbladed for the first time. It was a thing I started thinking about last year sometime. One of my coworkers got her eyebrows microbladed and she like came to work and was raving about how amazing it was. And I found myself just like staring at her eyebrows all day. And so then I was like, I should probably do this. I do my eyebrows every day. I didn't do them today, but I do them every day. I started doing them my senior year of high school, just 10 years ago. The amount of time I spend doing my eyebrows depends on the day. If I'm like just gonna go like do a very basic basic thing, it takes like maybe a few minutes. If I'm like trying to look nice for an event, then it takes longer. I would say maybe like 10 minutes. Trying to get them even is really hard. It's like a very fine line. Sometimes they look really, really good. And sometimes you look like a Muppet and there's just, you don't know until you messed it up. My sister actually was helping me get ready to go to prom. And one of my inspiration photos was the album cover of Beyonce's B-Day. My sister was like, okay, if you want to look like this, if you want your makeup to look like this, we should fill in your eyebrows. I didn't want to fill them in because I was like, it's gonna be like so severe and make my face look so insane. And then when we did it, it actually looked more like me than I was ready for. I like had been so nervous about like looking too intense or too intimidating or like overpowering or something. But then when I saw it, I was like, oh, but that kind of like suits my personality and it actually like looks more like my face and the way that I imagine that I look when I'm out in the world. And then it just became part of my life. And then I was just doing it all the time. Eyebrows are like architecture of the face. It just feels like you're making a statement that you're here and you're not sorry. It allows me to take up space in a way that I never really thought I could when I was a kid. Before I have this done, one of the things I'm nervous about is whether there are any risks involved, if there are any reactions that I might have, and then like, how do I take care of it after it's done? I am a little nervous because I've heard that it is painful, so I'm gonna do it, and we'll just like see how it looks. I guess the next time I'm here, I'm gonna just have like a brand new face. So I'll see you guys with my new eyebrows. Hi. Hi, Nikki. Nice I'm to Lindsay. meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you today? I'm good. I'm excited. So this is maybe a weird question, but what exactly is microblading? No, it's not weird at all. <laughs> so microblading, it is considered a tattoo. Okay. It is a cosmetic tattoo. I'm going to create a shape for you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to mimic the hair pattern of your hair to add hair in areas that are sparse and light. So it's going to last you for about one to two years, depending on your lifestyle and your skin type. Okay. And are there like risks involved with it? Like things that might go wrong? You know, in my career, I've seen over 40,000 procedures and wow. no allergic reactions. Wow. Everything we use is something you process through your body every day. I'm not saying it cannot happen, but right. it is very rare. Awesome. So I'm gonna use a thread to measure some symmetry. Okay. Is this something you've been wanting to do for a while? Um, it's a thing that I asked for for Christmas actually oh, last really? year. I think everyone in my family um, thought I was joking, so it didn't happen. I think I got like, you know, socks for Christmas, not, <laughs> not eyebrows. Okay, so I found all your points where your brows should go. I'm gonna connect everything. Okay, so uh, Lindsay just mapped out my face and we drew the initial shape for my eyebrows. So now we're gonna draw uh, the actual shape. I'm super excited to see what it's gonna look like. So let's get started. Okay, Nikki, I'm gonna have you look at them. They're gonna appear um, 10 to 15% thinner. Okay. How do you feel about this shape? Really excited, honestly. I think they're gonna be great. I'm yes. really excited okay. about that shape. Yeah. Any questions? Do you want a moment to just feel out the shape? No, I feel like that's like the dream shape that I would do if I had any skill. Okay. So it's exciting. All right. So what made you decide to get microblading now? Um, I am kind of entering a new phase of my career. It's Very a good exciting. moment to like be out in the spotlight a little bit and mm -hmm. feel like a little more cleaned up. I haven't been in a place of feeling like I'm ready to make a statement until recently. 
And so it feels like the right time to sort of make my physical appearance step up to where I am emotionally and where I've gotten to professionally. It feels like everything is sort of stepping into a new level and this is a, it's like a new me to go with it. Okay, so Lindsay's finished drawing my brows. This is gonna be the final shape. They are amazing, I'm really excited. So the next step is we're gonna numb them and then I will see you in 30 minutes. This is your look for the next 30 minutes. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, perfect. Take a seat. Awesome. I will bring you back when everything is set up. Okay, thanks. Okay, so uh, my eyebrows are now completely numb, which feels really weird. You never know that you can feel your eyebrows until you can't. Um, so now we're about to get started, so I'm really excited. Okay. Next up. So, Nikki, I'm gonna do like a light dark brown. Okay. Okay, it's gonna match your eyebrow hair. Okay. okay. How do you feel? I feel pretty numb. Yes? Yeah. You can tell? Yep. How was that? I didn't even feel that. Did you do something? Mm -hmm. We started already. This is the actual microblading part. This is really surreal. <laughs> I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Call it our first pass. I'm gonna place some pigment on all the strokes that I created and it's gonna sit here for 10 minutes. This part might sting a little bit. This is really weird. Like it hurts a little bit, but honestly it has hurt more when I've tried to pluck my eyebrows. So we did the first pass. Okay. It was successful. Yay. I'm about to give you another numbing procedure. Okay. And I'm gonna do my second pass and we're gonna see how everything looks and we'll be done. Amazing. Now I'm just like really now excited really to see it. Right. <laughs> So the strokes are done. I'm going to fill in some shading okay. to give you a little bit more fullness. Okay. This is considered a cosmetic tattoo. Okay. And it's very similar to body art tattooing. Mm -hmm. It's more superficial because the deeper we work, the more permanent it becomes. I see. So Nikki, right after that procedure, uh -huh. in some areas it might appear a little bit red, like okay. warm. Yeah. All of that will be gone probably by tonight. Okay. But when you wake up tomorrow, your brows are gonna look very dark, okay? Okay. So you're gonna have a scab. The scab will be completely developed by tomorrow, and it's really important that the scab doesn't come off too soon. The longer the scab stays on, the better. Yes. Okay. That's Lucky for me, I work from home, so I'll just, oh. I can just sit in my house like a hermit, and no yes. one has to see it. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna place some pigment on for another masking process. Okay. Okay, Nikki, you gotta hold this. Don't okay. look yet. Okay. okay. I'm so nervous, but I'm really okay. excited. You're gonna lift up the mirror. Okay. And now? See. Yep. Okay. Right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can okay. see myself. Okay. Holy crap. Can I say that? Holy crap. Yes. You can say <laughs> anything you want. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That's like a perfect eyebrow. Has anyone ever had an eyebrow that good? <laughs> this is amazing. Yes. Holy, yeah. yeah. Wow. This is magical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is your eyebrow transformation. Oh my gosh, they look so good. People are gonna think I got my face transplanted. No. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> <You're so cute. laughs> oh, these are the best eyebrows anyone's ever had. Oh, no one's feel? had better eyebrows than this. I feel like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, he's yeah. looking cuddle. 
so Lindsay just finished. Um, my eyebrows look incredible. Like, are you looking at them? I'm looking at them and they look amazing. I can't stop looking at them. We're gonna go over some aftercare and then we're all done. So for the first one to seven days, uh -huh. I want you to avoid water, lotion, rubbing, touching the procedure area, any direct sunlight, okay. and no makeup on the procedure area. Okay. So you're still gonna take a shower and wash your face, but just don't get water on your eyebrows on purpose. Okay. If they get wet for any reason, I want you to gently pat dry them. Okay. Or even blow dry them. I do want you to start applying a thin layer of ointment. Okay. Just so your scabs are comfortable and okay. lightly moistened so they don't come off Got this it. first week. Okay. It's important that your scab stays on for at least seven days, 10 days, 14 days, even better. Great. Okay. Okay. When the scabs come off, it's gonna be very light and you're gonna see color coming through every week up to six weeks. Okay. That's how long it can take for the skin to regenerate a new layer of skin. Got it, and okay. And only then you will see all the color surface. Got it, okay. I can't wait to see them here. I'm so excited, thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. There you go. Perfect, Perfect. thank you. So, these are my eyebrows now. I'm very excited. Nobody's ever seen my face look this together. It's, it's a big moment. It's still surprising. I'm still surprised to like wake up and look like a mess, but have these like very together eyebrows in the morning. I would say the amount of time that I save in not doing the makeup is less than the amount of time that I save in not thinking about it. The amount of time that I spend thinking about them or like worrying about how they look or worrying that I'm gonna like sweat and like rub them across my face and then look ridiculous, easily like a day and a half a week <laughs> that I've saved. So that's a huge win. My eyebrows to me feel like a thing that I can do that sort of make a statement about how bold I am as a person and about how sort of sure of myself I am as a person. And so I feel okay about it. So I'm gonna call my sister. Um, she has not yet seen the eyebrows, so it's very exciting. We're gonna FaceTime her and see what she thinks. <gasps> Hi! Hi! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you look so good. Thank good. you. Oh wow, you Thank look you. so good. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, can you like turn your which head way? side to side a little bit? Or like, <laughs> it just, you choose, you choose. No, which I don't know. Your whole face is just like, oh. I know, I got a new face yeah. too, actually, while I was there. I was so happy for I'm you. I'm really excited. This is like a, the completion of the vision from what, 10 years ago when you did my eyebrows at prom? <laughs> Yes, and I had this vision, <laughs> and now finally. And now here we are, so it's great. All right, well, I love you, awesome. and thanks for looking at your face in the middle of the day. <laughs> it's been a true pleasure. It's been an honor and a privilege. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay. You're so welcome. Okay, cool. Love okay. you. Bye. Love you. Bye. The amount of confidence that it's given me is kind of staggering. I feel just like so much more put together all the time. My face looks more like how it looks in my mind and I feel like I look more like the person that I feel like I am just naturally now. So I am more confident because I just am myself immediately. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I just look like myself. Even though it's sort of like an extreme thing, I guess, to get like permanent makeup done, now I have to do less in order to look the way that looks best on me. It just feels like, going out into the world and saying with certainty, this is how I look and I'm not sorry. It really is just something that's for me. It just feels like it speaks to who I am.